there parading pictures of people that I don't know that me, Lady J, are actually taught drumming. Yeah, she has no shame. She's such a liar. Yeah, the biggest liar on TikTok. Mwongo sana. So then, of course, I taught at Banfield College, lead lecturer. I was ahead, actually, I was leading a group of young lecturers in this college. Yeah, close the door, mama. Close the door. Kindly close the door. Close the door. Sorry, sorry, sorry. One minute. It is, it is the voice, it is the voice. Okay, all right. Okay, so, okay, so here at Banfield College, I was leading a group of young lecturers, very, very young lecturers, and I was the highest qualified teacher, lecturer in this college. I was the most educated in this college because I already had a, a bachelor's degree, a master's degree uh, at this point, and I was already doing my PhD when I was teaching in this college, okay? Kapumpum, listen, where were you in 2013? I was already a PhD student in 2013, Kapumpum, all right? And then, of course, I moved from Banfield College, and I went, um, no, no, I moved from Bedford College, actually, and I went to Banfield College. Bedford College, this was my first college to teach in. Kapumpum, I want to tell you, show you my CV, alafu upambane na haliako, but I know you will not, you will still come for me, thank it it will affect me yeah goja goja this thing is not charging goja kidogo yes that's in a charge excellent okay so then of course after uh, before bedford college where i taught uh from 2011 to 2013 i was a, a, a lecturer of english i taught at uh, at Robert Bruce Middle School, okay? And then, of course, after, before that, Sweckley's Girls High School, a really good school in central London. And then I used to do cover teaching, okay, uh, for a, a long time in the UK. Before you got the qualified teacher status, you worked for agencies. But before I came to the United Kingdom, I taught English in Kenya as well. Kapumpum, I taught at Jomo Kenyatta High School in Nakuru, Oh, Kenya. I taught English, art and design, and PE. Okay, this is my CV, my education. This is my education, Kapumpum Chikwa screenshots, uh, Doctor of Philosophy. Siku Imaliza, I am planning on finishing it. An English lecturer, English literature, Doctor of Philosophy, PhD. I've got a few, uh, maybe a, about around a year and a half to finish this PhD. I'll go back Nita Imaliza. Before 2027, okay, on the ballot, utaona, utaona doctor, kapumpum, zoya mapema, okay. Then of course I did a master's degree uh, in English literature. And then I also did a bachelor's degree in art and design. I trained as a, as a diploma teacher in Kenya where I got first class, Kapumpum. And uh, here on LinkedIn, I've got very, very many connections here. Most of them are my colleagues, 500 plus connections. Most of them are people we taught with over the years, okay? What to Fundisha now over the years. So I want to tell you, woman, that it doesn't matter how much you lie to people that I used to you do what, do what, you are still a wannabe. You are still hoping that you can actually get to the level of people like us. But guess what? You have to put in more work to be able to get there. Put in more work. Hakuna mwenye atakupatia bure. Hakuna. Lazima ufanye kazi. Ndiyo fike penye tuko. Alright, I'm going to flip the camera and then I'm going to talk kidogo. Yeah, Lazima u put, you put in the work to get to where we are. Utakuja hii TikTok utatutusi. Utatutusi. Utanitusi mimi le DJ. Utasema mauongo. Ili unireduce to your level. Iyo level yako duni. Ha? Iyo level yako yenye ata form 4 certificate akuna. Ha? Deep degree, unaeka watu wanakufanya homework, left, right, and center. Hmm? You can't even do your own assignments at university. And then you want to come compare yourself to me, someone who used to mark those same essays that you're submitting to those lecturers. Those are the essays I used to mark, and I've marked hundreds upon hundreds of those essays. Alafu unakuja, unajikompea na mimi, kapumpum. Atunajifanya, you won't be better than me. The only thing that I want to match you on, ni kuchamba. Because I am bored. You have stopped my work at Jama Community School. Yeah? You've taken away my labor, my work. Umeamua, unanipatia holiday. That holiday...
zit kama yeye kichal candy ichal candy mama macha lokoko grotesque ila rachaka chef eh kata jira trotenge kapumpu mira teng molo jitemo rotenge irach iraracha to ine mingeo kaka jiricho hm iraracha ichal kiango to ine mingeo kaka jiricho you can't even dress where's your to dress you can't dress and then you are there you know talking about people's sense of fashion yeah kiswahili yes i will keep it kiswahili yeah where where you've given me something to do you said you were coming to address me on the 28th no 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 you can't help it you will address me every single day until the 28th okay i will make sure you address me every single day All right, you've just given me something to do. I want you to remember the book where you you sit. You are in this book. Your name is actually Piggy. Okay? Because you're a pig's head on a stick. Your name is Piggy. You are the devil himself in this book. And what you're doing, you're killing one one peer of yourself, one peer after the other after the other. You're killing one person after the other. That's why you're collecting people in a group alafu na wachamba one after the other. Kasabu we ni shetani, you are the devil himself, kapumpum. All right? So I need you to read this book, Lord of the Flies. I've told you many times, Lord of the Flies by William Golden. Read that book. And then understand your character, you big bully. Ah tunakuja TikTok tunasema I will bully you. to silence you can bully people to silence but you cannot bully lady j to silence not me when you say that ndio najaribu sana kukuprove wrong mimi uwezi ni tisha eh sasa hizo wenye unasema oh i will bully you to silence that and i say okay aha uh -huh. umenipatia mafuta twende nalo let us see who will bully who will be bullied to silence eh huh? tuone nani atakuwa bullied to silence Wewe weka pum pum. <laughs> Ka kwa ligi yako, hiyo ligi yako ya kudanganya watu TikTok kwamba mko na do na hamuna. Mko na masomo hamuna, mko na class hamuna, mko na fashion hakuna. Wewe na huyo unani, huyo wajakoya. Mumeparara kuparara. Mumeparara TikTok in front and then muambie muambi penye wako. Kwa kama Lady Jane amesema wameparara Waja kwa wanga nasema kupara <laughs> Nilikuwa na watch video nyingine hapo uh, ya wajakoya oh my god my, my phone is gonna go off again and i feel so terrible do you want to give me the charger do you want to give me that cable yeah it's gonna go off again and i feel so bad vuka mwaka na kaploti st clifford i see you i see you dear i see you I see you give me. Yeah? So wajakoya wanga just keep pulling it. Just keep pulling it. It's just gonna unroll. It will unroll. Just keep pulling it. The cable will unroll. Keep on mama. Yeah? Unplug the iPad, I think. And then okay. Leave me the iPad. Okay? All right, give me. Give me the charger. I'm so sorry about the iPad. Just give me the cha the, the charger itself. Yeah. No, not unplugging it. Oh my god. Okay, let go. Okay, give me the charger. Thank you. All right. So guys, so Wajakoya wanga nasema hii kitu. Wacha niwaambie. Wajakoya wanga nasema ana hiyo iPad yake itaenda off poor kid. Because we've left the other charger in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. My your iPad is going to go off in a minute. I'm so sorry. Yeah. and you're going to get so upset. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you Chocolate City. Oh, thank you Laima. Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> thank you guys so much. So, guys, so this is a thing. Uh, uh, the thing that <laughs> For those who don't know, Kapumpum leo amesema she will bully me to silence. Now, she actually picked on the wrong person because I am so self-respecting. Nobody can bully me to silence. Yeah? So Adinga, thank you for following me. <laughs> Nobody can bully me to silence. Mimi na jeshimu. Mimi wezi ni bully to silence. Unani bully to silence like who? Like who? Who are you to bully me to silence? Like hapa kwa TikTok. 
penye umekuja umenipata so unajigamba kwamba sasa because you've you've trolled me for months yeah huh? <laughs> you are going to bully me to silence it will not work so you will be coming live utani bully utani troll niki ukimaliza i now fungua live okay okay and i address you that's how it's going to go and by the way ambieni nani waja koya lady jay amesema ameparr ameparr how you are responding with facts even heaven is proud of you thank you saint clifford yeah because they are bringing propaganda about me one propaganda you amesema leo two things one I, I, is ya kwamba only two things i wanted to respond to today moja ni ya kwamba siku there is absolutely no way a black woman can come from kenya and teach english in the united kingdom my dear what i want to tell these women is this i i met raila odinga here in the uk in 2012 Okay we were a group of Kenyans meeting Raila in this exclusive hotel in central London all right like Raila's aide that time was somebody called Silas Jakakimba huyo amesha huyo jamaa mwenye alicharaza kapumpu mtiktok Facebook wenye wanakumbuka alimcharaza kumcharaza Facebook Jakakimba huyo jamaa kutoka nini uh, kakimba huko mrusinga thing mfangano whatever you know So this guy and I were in a taxi. We were going to now officially welcome Baba. Because I was the key figures in London at that point. I was teaching at Bedford College in 2012. You understand? I was a lecturer of English at Bedford College. So, uh Kizungu uh, top kwa sababu Kizungu ndio nafunza. So I am one of the people who are going to welcome Baba. Unasikia? <laughs> so Jakakimba akafikia ya kwamba mimi nafunza kizungu hapa London England hapa UK you know Jaka Kimba ali shake kichwa yake for a very long time <sighs> hey <coughs> hey mujalu ametoka huko nyumbani <laughs> amekuja kufunza kizungu England hey alishanga sana hey Jaka Kimba really alishanga 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 Yeah. He's a very wealthy man. He's a very good guy. Tosh Tosh, I agree. Ali shanga, ali shanga, ali shanga. Ali ni pongeza. Unaona? <laughs> so, if you find now, oh thank you so much, City. Come on. Thank you so much. If you find now this um what do you call it? This woman here on TikTok going around tiktok saying that as there is absolutely no way a black woman can come from africa to a white man's country united kingdom penye english ilitokea anakuja kufundisha watu english in the united kingdom that is me lady j i am i keep telling you kapumpum the reason why you hate me so much is because i'm ahead of my time that is why you hate me so much Because I'm not only better than you a million times, I'm also ahead of my time. Because all those departments where I used to belong, whether it was at Bedford College, Banfield College, Bosco College, or or even Bellevue College, School and College, it was always me, the only black person in the entire English department. Akukwa na mtu mwingine mweusi, ilikwanga tu mimi Lady J. Yeah? <laughs> Bado sijaanza na salad, nitaanza na salad after of Christmas. Sawa. So, uh, yeah, it was only me, the only black person in the department. So I want to tell you again, that is why I'm telling you ka kwa leni yako wewe panguza tu hizo matako pole pole, unapanguza matako, unaenda unajaribu kupata degree. Hiyo degree pia is elusive. Si hiyo mama alisema ana graduate na degree mbili the end of this year. Is what is a degree mbili? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, how are you moving to new institutions very fast? Because in the UK that is how you work. Okay? We chase money in the United Kingdom. I used to have a pay rise every two years. Okay? And when I moved to London, I gave myself a 10,000 pound pay rise on the dot. Because I moved from Banfield Banfield College, all right? As a lead lecturer, 
I came to a, a, a London school and uh, the reason why I came, money in London was pouring like rain. Sawa sawa. Sisi, when I came to this country to teach, the minute I arrived, I was taught the language of money. I was earning 20,000 per day teaching English in, in the year 2004. My visa is from 2003, okay? Okay, early. So from 2004, early when I started teaching, Niksha Zam, Toto Angu, you were 19 years, yeah? I was there now, busy, busy teaching from school, from uh, one institution to the next. I stay in this institution for five months. No, I stopped teaching about Carl. I stopped teaching about two years ago. All right, in schools, but I still teach. I'm a community educator. He's of Zote Kapumpu Maemenda, Akaiba. Akasema, she's now a community educator. Gwogni. <laughs> community educator, Macheth. You're a community bully. That's what you are. You're not an educator. Educating who? Aliona is a titles. Nikiweka uko Facebook. Community educator. Akaenda kaiba. Akaanza kutembea nayo. Easy streets. Big bully of TikTok. Hmm? Wewe. <laughs> mama, mama macha lo koko. Irana chaicha lo koko. Kwenda uko. So anyway. <laughs> so that is how I was moving from institution to the next. Because money. When you're working in a country that is not yours, you don't stay somewhere too long. Okay? You look at better opportunities. I came from earning 20K per day in 20, 2004 all the way to almost 60,000 a year as the head of department. And that is why you, if you saw my payslip, one time, time I even showed people my payslip here. It was around 900,000 Kenya shillings in a month. Ikikatwa unabaki na around 700K. Sawa sawa. So lens, kapumpum, if you've never earned almost a million in a month, kachini kuwa humble. Kuwa tu humble. Katu wapo chini kuwa humble. That was my last job as a head of department. And by the way, mimi uchamba na facts. Let me, let me now bring that payslip and show you guys. Okay? Ili wenye watasema, ay, Lady J, are you sure? Ay, ay, as a teacher in London, ay, are you sure? Yes, and if you're teaching outside London and you want good money, kuja London. Hapa mpesa ina, ina mwagika na ndo. Unangia darasa, unapata do. London teachers earn tons of money. Msi wena, msi, msi dhani na joke. Okay, oh my God, this thing is gonna go off, man. My phone is going to go off, it's not charged.